have an election here on Sunday for the upper house, and this is how they do their campaigning. They all have these loudspeakers on vehicles uh, spreading whatever message uh, they are to the voters. Kind of annoying, actually. This area is just like Times Square, New York, except with noise, lights, and people. It's going to be just like that scene in Braveheart. That is the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, and that is where I am going to visit their observation deck and uh, get an aerial view over Tokyo. No, the windows here aren't frosted. That really is the smog looming over Tokyo. Uh, when you have 12 million people in the city, that's going to happen. Behind me, on your left, is the uh, Park Hyatt Hotel, and that's where they filmed Lost in Translation. Well, this is the view out the other side. You can see a little more because the sun's behind you. At about 12 o'clock is the Tokyo Tower. I can see it barely. You probably can't. And at about 1 o'clock is the Mori Tower in the Roppongi Hills area. Well, you can see there's more last-minute campaigning going on behind me. I think there's two rival candidates uh, trying to see who's got the loudest megaphone. Shinzo Abe is the Prime Minister. He doesn't stand to lose in this election because this is for the upper house, not the lower house. But he's not all that popular right now, so members of his own party, the Liberal Democratic Party, which wins every election, are actually uh, turning against him in order to get votes. So uh, savage political uh, tactics at their best here in Japan. <laughs> Well, behind me here at Asakusa is the Asahi Brewery headquarters. The building on the left is designed to look like a glass of beer with the foam on top. The building on the right with the golden thing on top, no one really knows what that is. That's a mystery even to the locals. <laughs> Well, an election is an election no matter where you go. And looking the other way, this is the Nakamise Dori uh, shopping street, and this leads to the uh, temple here in uh, Asakusa. Well, it's along here that you can buy all sorts of trinkets and souvenirs. I'm nobody, I'm nobody, I'm nobody. Well, this is Kapabashi, which is the restaurant supply district. Uh, you can buy all sorts of pots and pans, and if you're a waiter or a waitress, you can buy your uniforms here. I am in search of plastic food. Well, here we are, the plastic food store. This is 
Nihonbashi, which basically means Japanese bridge. And this is the point at which all distances to Tokyo are measured. In effect, it's the zero kilometer marker. You'll see that there's an expressway running over the bridge and along the river. And the reason for that is explained in two simple words. Eminent domain. Just try to expropriate somebody in Japan for the purpose of public works. It just doesn't happen. Well, you know you're in Tokyo when you can buy an $80,000 Swarovski crystal covered Hello Kitty. I don't think it'll fit in my suitcase. Rokongi, the epicenter of Tokyo nightlife. No better place to be on a hot Saturday night, full moon, clear sky, and some last minute election campaigning. Uh, there must be a midnight moratorium or something because these guys are still going at it. Time